Hey Capricorn, it's Lex. I'm here with your March reading. I have already pre-shuffled and drawn your cards. I will go through the way that they came out and then clarify and rearrange as necessary. If you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other videos. Also, there is a link in the description box to my website where you can book sessions with me, um, coaching with me, or um, purchase merchandise and or products. Okay, if this resonates with you, please give me a like and comment. If it does not, please check one of your moon, rising, or Venus signs. Okay, so first card we have is the wheel, five of air, seven of earth, king of earth, justice, and the lovers. Okay, these are general readings. So this could be um, any aspect of your life as well as love, okay? Not necessarily focused on love. I will pull oracles more geared toward love. But um, Capricorn, so what I see here is that you all have been kind of burdened or in kind of like a hermit mode, just kind of in deep thought on a decision that you need to be making. I feel that there may have been something that come up to where everyone was not, um, everyone or who originally said that they were gonna be a part of this project or situation or trip or something like that, they backed out. I feel like whatever this was, like everyone who said, oh yeah, I'll go or I'll do it, yeah, I'm down, and they backed out on you um, for some folks. Um, others of you, you're, the ball is in your court, okay, um, and making a decision and it's telling you to do what is fair and to you, do what you know is right and fair for you. I'm going to put that there. With this lovers, this also refers to weighing your options and decisions. This also could be a romantic relationship, but the lovers does um, suggest that a decision needs to be made, whether it is in love or some other aspect of your life, okay? So for these other three cards, I have the wheel, the king of earth, and the seven of earth. With these, I feel that this over here, the, the people not being what they say they were going being what they say that they are and doing what they say that they were going to do that has turned like the tables have turned so to speak okay see this wheel like the table has turned okay so now the boss and the ball is in your court now and you're this king of pentacles okay like first you were waiting on them and now since the tables turn you're the shot caller now okay i want to get some clarifiers for that If this is something that you're worried about, I say do not. It is unnecessary worry. Oh, okay. Okay. To clarify this, I have the King of Cups and the Ten of Cups. This could be related to family. This could be emotional um, and towards a love situation. Okay. Um, the other two cards that came out together were the King of Wands and Seven of Wands. This is also about um, standing for you, up for yourself and for your beliefs and making the decisions that are best for you and your family or whoever else is involved, okay? Very good. Any other clarifiers? There's something else. I'm missing. Okay. This could be related to a um a wedding or a birth of a child, okay? And um people who said they were going to do X Y and Z regarding the situation aren't doing it and now it's all falling on you, but you you got it. I mean, it's no sweat for you Capricorn, okay? All right, let's get you a couple of romance oracles and see what we have for you in love. I 
I have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive. All right. So, yeah, this um, is tying into everything that I see up here as far as people doing, saying one thing and doing another thing. Okay. Clarifiers for these oracles for you. Yeah. Nope. It's, it's all in your balls in your court. You're going to have to do all the work now. The weight's on your shoulders now. And there's no need for you to worry about nothing else because you're taking the lead on this. Okay. All right, Capricorn. Let's get an overall romance oracle for you. Tie this all in. You know what to do. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Okay. Self-explanatory. I think so. And I'll go ahead and read this other one because it did come out for a reason. So it may be referring to some of you out there. Um, healthy lifestyle. Eat a healthy diet. Get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. Okay. So for those of you who this fits, that's for you. If it's not. For all of you, it's going to be you know what to do. Some of you, it's about your health. The rest of you, it's about some other sort of situation and happening, an event that's about to occur that you're going to have to take the lead on, okay? That is your March reading, Capricorn. I hope this resonates with you. If it does, please give me a thumbs up and a comment below. If it does not, it just was not your message, guys. Please check your moon rising or Venus. Please subscribe if you have not, okay? And take care.